Ventura County officials are opening up more drive through testing sites. The option allows people to get screened in less than 10 minutes without overwhelming health centers. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live at one of those pop ups in Simi Valley with a look at how it works. Joy, good morning. Good morning. That's right. I mean, there's really been a steady stream of cars here this morning since this pop up center opened at about eight o'clock this morning. You can see we have three cars in line right now, and it's been like that for several hours. But the truth is, although everyone's being spoken with, not everyone's being tested. The cars started lining up as soon as they opened as folks want to know, am I infected? Trying to get tested because we came around with a lot of people at the airport and now she doesn't feel good. Without a fever, Carmen Gonzalez's sister wasn't given a test for the coronavirus, but she, like many, are worried. Hey, I was just at a thing for the union. There was like 500 people there, you know? You got it from anybody. He also didn't meet the criteria, but with nine cars in the first hour, several people at the Sierra Vista Family Medical Clinic drive up testing site were in fact tested for COVID 19, but not until these nurses took their temperature and asked a lot of questions. What their exposure is, do they have a fever? Do they have a cough? Are they feeling short of breath? Right now, Ventura County has seven drive up locations at its urgent care facilities up and running. If you're feeling under the weather and you have the fever and cough and you're part of our system, go ahead and come through. We can screen you. It's not a guarantee that you'll be tested, but we will screen you. This facility only got 50 tests today, so health officials are reserving the test for those with a fever, severe respiratory symptoms, and others in a high-risk category. Those who did meet the criteria were given a nasal swab and a few minutes later drove away. National shortage on supplies to do the COVID testing is a real thing. We need more tests. We need more protective equipment, the N95 masks, the gowns. The White House promised 1.9 million more tests this week, and California has more labs cranking up to provide results. You know, I get we're all anxious, but if you're not sick, stay home. Let's contain this before it gets out of hand. Leaving those driving away with that lingering question and a fear of spreading the virus to someone they love. Better safe than sorry. And that's what a lot of people are saying when they're out here. They're saying, I just want to get tested. But it's important to remember, if you don't have one of those risk factors or have any of that exposure, you probably don't need that testing. And they just don't have enough tests right now to give it to anybody who just happens to want it. So right now, they really are prioritizing, Suzanne, those in dire need of this test and in dire need of treatment.